Well, hey there. So I have decided to go completely nuts and make a Roy G. Biv costume. But bam Yeah, he's a colorful man. He proudly stands at the rainbow's end. If you don't have a clue, then you need to Google it. It's the best song ever. If you feel the need to make a Roy G. Biv costume, and hello, why would you not? Then you're first going to need to start by sketching out your beard This is not an easy task. It really means you've got to create the beard, draw it, cut it out, and hold it up to your face, and also kind of think about where you're going to have the elastic that's going to go around the beard go. Because honestly, the first beard I made is now going to be donated to some lucky art teacher and buddy because it just keeps sliding off. You've got to make sure you know where that elastic is going to go around. I love drawing on fabric with chalk because it's so easy to erase. Once I had my design for my beard drawn drawn out, I went ahead and I pinned it between three layers of um, quilting batting. I think that's what it's called. That's why I'm saying it with a questioning voice. Anyway, once that was finished, I decided to go ahead and use an applique stitch. Now, at first, I was going to cut out the beard and then stitch, but it's actually a lot easier if you do it like how I'm doing it right here. Stitch the entire thing together with your applique or zigzag stitch and then cut around it. Now, every sewing machine has this stitch. You might be thinking I'm working with a fancy machine. I'm not, it's a regular old sewing machine. So I love this stitch, I use it a lot. It's a zigzag on your machine, it'll show a zigzag icon. All you want to do is make sure that your stitches are close together, thusly creating that really tight zigzag. And you also wanna make sure they're nice and wide if you want a wide kind of line. Making this applique or zigzag stitch does take a while and it does take a lot of thread, just so you know. And then you can cut it out. Now, when you are cutting it out, you wanna make sure to leave a tiny little bit of space between your stitches and where you're cutting because you don't want to accidentally cut your stitches and cause your beard to unravel. Uh, Nobody wants an unraveling beard, guys. So here I am meticulously cutting around the edge of my beard. To get to the mouth part, you do that trick where you fold it in half, you make a little snip, and then you have your scissors cut around. Once that's complete, you can then paint your beard. This was like my favorite part because to me, the beard was looking a little bit flat and I decided to kind of give it a little Van Gogh look to it. Speaking of Van Gogh, this costume could totally double with this beard as a Van Gogh costume, except I'm going to lose the hat and the rest of it. But yeah, red beard. Hello, Van Gogh much. And I'm just using an acrylic kind of paint, which dries really quickly on the fabric and also gives a really cool kind of scratchy texture when you're painting on it. When I was finished with this part of the beard, that's when I decided to start stitching on the elastic. If you don't have elastic, just even a string that you could tie behind your head would work great. I went for elastic because I just happened to have it. And again, I used a zigzag stitch to attach the elastic, mostly because I knew with all the stretching and pulling, that kind of stitch would be the strongest. How much longer are we going to watch me paint this beard? I mean, this is going a little while, don't you think? Here, let's speed this up, shall we? To create the hat, I didn't make a video part for that, so sorry, but it really is just a piece of black poster board that I cut into a very large circle and then rolled into a cone shape. And at the store, I found this really great glittery sticky backed foam stuff and it worked awesome it was only a dollar a sheet as opposed to the sparkly ribbon i was going to buy which was 4.99 a roll now when it came to the prism that i'm holding that's actually a martha stewart plate yeah she had these super amazing plates on sale that were iridescent and i just sandwiched a dowel rod between two plates for the prism Well, I'm super excited to wear this insanely ridiculous Roy G. Biv costume next week as my kindergartners wrap up their rainbow boot camp is what we're calling it. So yeah, be sure to pop by my blog to see what my kiddos are creating. Thanks, guys.